I and what's this letter, Jasperi? D. You know what it stands for? ID. ID. <laughs> Infinity uh, Defense. That's what it stands for. Infinity Defense. Okay, so our two biggest sponsors of today Infinity Targets, or is it Infinity Defense? I don't know. It's got ID over here at the bottom. But they make these cool self healing rubber targets and they are super awesome to shoot at. You, if you have a backstop, even better. And just pretty come closer, give me a side view on this one. It's about a half an inch thick um, rubber and the beauty of it is everything kind of goes through it and nothing will come back and ricochet. If you have a backstop, obviously it's really recommended. I use this kind of stand for this. I just put a two by four and uh, it's going to hit my two by four, but you know, the, even wood is going to go through it. So nothing is going to come back, but they do sell the stands that have uh, uh, two um, positions, one on the left, one on the right. So you can put the woods on the side and then hold the target. I did it this way. You, know, you can make your own or buy it from them and uh, grab some wood from Home Depot and uh, set your target. And they, the clamps also come with the, uh, I think they come with the uh, targets. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's considered an accessory, but they send them to me. Thank you so much. Self healing. I think I read somewhere it's about 110, they guarantee 110 to 120 rounds per square inch. And uh, also, it's kind of uh, windy. After you shoot it, uh, it's supposed to turn black uh, when you shoot it, so you know where you shot it at. And uh, what, what was I saying? And then you can just spray paint it like that. And you're back. <sighs> wind. I picked the perfect day to spray paint the wind. This was a little scratched up. See, so done. So now. You're back where you started. Now, this whole thing is going to fall down. So, um, two biggest sponsors of today. Like I said, Infinity Targets. Thank you so much for sending this over. Check the link in the description. Be cool. And another sponsor of today is who, Jasperi? Uh, Sonoran Desert Institute. SDI.edu. SDI. Sonoran Desert Institute. If you wanted to get your career started in being a scientist like me and Jasparito, which we're going to attempt to do today to show you guys uh, what happens shooting a thousand yards with automatics. Or let's just say you want to work for a gun manufacturer to make those guns, AR-15s, AK-47s, take them apart, put them back together. Or you just want to sit at home and play with your guns and you need a little bit more knowledge and uh, know how to operate them. They have all the tools and resources to help you get uh, to that level. Our level, the scientist level, <laughs> right, just ready? Yes. And uh, we really appreciate them. There'll be a link in the description for them, sdi.edu. Check them out. And also Infinity Targets for uh, sending this stuff. Check them out too. Okay, so back to what I was saying. We're going to attempt a thousand yards. A lot of times you see in the movies or just the infantry, like people are out there just shooting at enemy, behind enemy line, whatever the situation is. And they're just kind of shooting. And we never see really what they're hitting on the other side. I mean, unless you're on the other side. <laughs> we're never on the other yeah, side, right? Yeah, we never. So we're gonna shoot it. I'm gonna be probably um, over thousand yards and uh, elevation probably two thousand yards. So the bullets are gonna drop down, and uh, this is a little bit scary. We're gonna attempt doing another one of those uh, dumb things that we do, where one of us is gonna stay behind, and then he's gonna actually have to. <laughs> when I say he, I'm talking about Jasparito. Jasparito, thank you so much uh, for volunteering over here <laughs> to stay behind. He's gonna hide behind the concrete wall. And we're going to use walkie talkies as I'm shooting this a thousand yards. He's going to check. I'm going to make sure I'm clear up there. And then he's going to check, see if I hit anything. It'll be too much work going back and forth. And then uh, we'll just kind of know, spray and pray where they're going. If I'm just kind of aiming up and down, see where they kind of land at a thousand yards, thousand feet, uh, 2000 elevation. And then, oh, we put these extra panels to kind of give it a larger target to see if I miss the target over here, which I'm hundred percent sure I'm going to miss it. And uh, we want to see if it'll hit anything and Jasper can check it easier. I said enough, right? Yes. Okay. Let's just, I'm going to get situated up there and then you stay here and find the beach wall you want to hide behind. And oh. then I'm going to have to make sure I don't see you. So I have binoculars and everything else and range finders. Okay. Okay, let's go. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Gavron, why is your hand shaking a little bit? As long as I don't see you, I'm going to use my range finder real quick. Hold on. I'm in the, in the full wall of, of the concrete. From what I've seen in the movies, <laughs> it always starts bad when someone says, from what I've seen in the movies. This is about what it looks like 
uh, when you are in a war back in Middle East and uh, you got both parties, some with AK and some with AR-15s shooting at each other. Some from the mountains, some from the lower position. And we're gonna shoot right over there. Why is he walking around over there? Oh my God, I need to go tell him to hide. Okay, Jasperi, I'm ready. Okay, let me turn on the camera. I'm using a M16 over here with the grenade launcher and all your tech uh, stuff. Stuff. We're super scientific. That's how you know you came to the right channel. Uh, okay. I'm ready too. Go for it. Okay, I'm gonna take shots right now. Make sure you're under the concrete. So we are, uh, like I said, at my grandpa's lake. Okay, shots are coming. Get ready. Okay, let's see if uh, we can hit anything. Okay, I'm clear. What happened? Oscar, bro, you missed every single one. Oh, where were they hitting? Uh, the, the concrete area, and some go outside, but no, you don't hit nothing. But I was hitting the concrete? Uh, no, the concrete, the, the, the floor. Here, in this area, around. Okay, but nothing on the uh, targets, right? Uh, yeah, let me, t let me go and check the target. Yeah, you don't hit nothing. <laughs> okay, sounds good. I'm going to go another uh, mag dump and uh, I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay, okay. Okay, so uh, looks like I'm hitting the area, but the targets... Can you give a zoom in over there? All the way. I don't know if the camera will see it. We didn't grab our uh, super scientific camera, so... It's a clear view for us from here. And um, nothing in the way, but uh, it's just hitting around it. It's not hitting the, um, the target. It's super, super small. There's no way I can see that. Maybe I'll bring a sniper rifle and we'll shoot from here, but I'm gonna go another mag dump with this. Oh, I, gotta, I guess I should tell him, huh? <laughs> Jasperi, Jasperi, Jasperi. Alpha one, Bravo one. Okay, shoot. Cabron, you can't just say shoot, you gotta use uh, like a proper terminology. You gotta say Alpha 1, Bravo, or Fox 2, you hear me? Copy that and then fire. Uh, 1040, 1040, shoot! Uh, fire, fire! Cabron, 1040 is for law enforcement. That's a different kind of code. You gotta use military codes. Okay, 320, 320, 25, 25, 43, 43, shoot! He thinks this is a joke. You know what? Forget it. I'm not. I'm. I'm shooting. Just hide. Hide. <laughs> okay. Give me confirmation. You're hiding. Ah uh, yes. Okay. Shots coming. Firing right now. He said really high? What did he say? Repeat that one more time. What was it? Really high? Uh, you too low. Too low. Okay, I'm gonna go higher. Oh, you know what's happening? The bullets are dropping. Duh, why didn't I think about this? Ah, uh, hi, yeah, he was right. Jasperi, I'm still shooting. Don't don't come out, okay? Okay. Okay, this other set, did it, were they going lower or higher, the new ones I sent? The other one went a little higher, but I don't think you hit the target. Okay, shooting some more. Hide, hide.
love the sound echoes. Okay, I'm finished with the uh, AR-15. I'm empty. Coast is clear. Can you check, see if any, I hit anything? Okay, let me check. It, it's really, really far. And especially shooting an automatic. If it was a, a semi, maybe with the... Uh, no, you don't hit. The target. Nothing, it's clear. It's, it's, uh, nothing, nothing happened. Hey, wait, wait, wait. It's a one shot, one shot. Oh, one shot. It's a ricochet, ricochet. Oh, you think it's a ricochet? Okay, the, the target is clear. It's no nothing. But here, here, you can see it's one, but it's side, sideways. What is this thing here? Uh, my finger, a couple of here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, because you can see uh, the bullet uh, you know, the, uh, on the side. Okay, but are, okay, make sure you're recording that. Are you recording that with your camera over there? Uh, no, let me go and grab it. <laughs> Hi, cabron. That's why I left you the camera so you record the target. <laughs> okay, record that and then uh, let me get the AK-47. I'll let you know when I'm ready. <laughs> this guy. So, here's what happened. We're gonna do it at 200 yards. Let me make sure the yardage is correct. Okay, shoot! We're about 250 yards. Yeah, 250. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, I'm ready for fire. Hang tight. Okay, I'm ready for. Okay, shots fired coming up. So we're going automatic on this to see if we can hit that target at the end. Okay, I'm clear. Oh my God. You're right. The good thing is coming high. This thing come really close. You hit the ground, cabron. Uh, yeah, I saw the ground, but then can you go check see if I hit anything on the target? I'm gonna go look some more. I go right now. <sighs> Midland, fancy walkie talkies. This is what I mean. Okay, let me do one more magnum. Nothing. You don't hit nothing. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go one more mag. See what happens. Alpha one, Fox Bravo one. Do you copy? Uh, yes, little fox. Little yes, fox. Little fox. <laughs> I copy you. Big, big coyote. Do you copy? <laughs> Okay, I'm shooting. Just hide. Uh, yeah, big coyote. Uh, copy you, little fox. I'm here, hide. Okay, good. I'm gonna go single shot at this time, uh, semi-auto instead of a full auto. I want to see if the accuracy gets any better. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Okay, we're going single shot. I bet you I hit it several times. Okay, Jasperi, I'm done. And I think I did a lot better with this one. Okay, let me go and check. Fox, Fox Bravo, Big Tango, Mother Kangaroo, I see you. And I think I did a lot better, at least five to 10 shots in. Okay, little monkey, 
Okay, little monkey, let me check. <laughs> Did he just call me a little monkey? This guy. <laughs> hey, cabron, wait, I see a bear walking over there. I'm gonna shoot it. Oh, wait, no, that's you. <laughs> okay, let me check. Okay, the target, the, tar the ID target is intact. But the panel is one. Yes, one. Just one? Okay, I was I was kind of firing real quick. Let me take my time on the AK and then just take some shots. Okay, okay. Hmm. I go high. So pretty much this is a test for iron sights on AK, I guess at this point. Fox Bravo Monkey One Zero Tango, do you copy? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Okay, sending right now. Okay, Fox Bravo Monkey One, do you copy? Go check, please. Okay, I go check. Target is intact. Nothing happened. But, and the panel is two more. Now it's three holes. Okay, it's possible you're not seeing the targets on the uh, on that rubber. They're just kind of going through. You sure there's nothing on it? Come on, look in that. It's not even uh, it's nothing. Okay, so confirmed uh, three, four shots on the panel, but nothing on the uh, rubber. Yes, nothing on the rubber. Okay, that's good enough. Um, can you bring, Jasperi, can you bring the uh, the wood and the, the rubber target closer to me? Leave the stand over there, the metal, just bring the upper area. Okay, okay. Okay, gracias. Okay, so apparently uh, at 225, it's still kind of a little bit difficult. Semi-auto single shot, I'm hitting some, but um, automatic, forget about it. It's just the front, the muzzle, rises too much and then for me to get back on the target is just completely off it's pretty much it goes the the saying that you know the the people who put the most rounds down range are the winners the more ammo the more rounds you can put down uh this is pretty much a spray and pray bunch of ammo there's no accuracy it's just if you got lucky you hit something so now i understand why sometimes people survive these uh wars <laughs> they're just if they get lucky they survive if they don't get lucky hasta luego and there comes my compadre, monkey one. Okay, he's saying something, I can't hear him, he's too far. <laughs> no, keep bringing it! Yeah, That's from earlier maybe. Yeah, earlier. No, it would, have, it would have shown over here in the front. Yeah, for sure. I didn't hit anything. Yeah. So AK, Nothing. iron sights, 250 yards, not much. I'm gonna hit it with the uh, nine millimeter. Just to show you guys what happens if you shoot this target. Let's go back a little bit. And uh, by the way, my Glock is an auto position. So alien gear hoster. Thank you so much. They're always hooking me up with the gear. And uh, who's my belt? We the people hosters also. They sell these awesome belts. They have hosters too, leather hosters. But for right now, I need uh, um, technical stuff. Okay, listo? I'm ready. Glock 17. You hit <laughs> once. How did I miss? Only one. So I see that's how it's supposed to be if, it, if you shoot it, uh, it, it blacks out. So out of all those rounds, I only hit one. Let me go one more. I guess I'll go a little closer. Okay, 
Okay, much better. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, look, the back, Jasper, let me show you the back. Nothing happens to the back. You hardly see anything coming out of it. Yeah, it's clear. This is awesome. Awesome stuff. Wait, 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 let me show you that yeah. to my, my people. Uh, your cabron, people. Your people. Okay, yeah, nothing. That's a good target. That's target, nice. Yeah, you can read. And obviously, if you're shooting with it for practice, if you don't just spray and pray like I did, let me show you guys if you sprayed what happens and then you can come back on the target with a different gun. And uh, it's awesome. Semi, it's not meant for auto, but you can, I was just doing it just for the fun of it. But if you had the semi, tune, 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 shots, pretty good. I'll be right back. Bada bing, bada boom, done. I'm gonna shoot it with the 45 for Magnum Research. And I'm gonna do single uh, shots, headshot, Alpha Charlie, what? Tango. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go headshot. Why too high? I'm hitting the head. At one point, I'm gonna mess up that 2x4. I'm gonna need more 2x4s. Okay, see? Perfect. These are all kill shot. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, as you can see, this uh, rubber target is still intact. Nothing's gonna happen to it. Spray paint it. Anyway. There you go. Let's take some uh, rifle shots at it since I managed to miss all the other ones and then see uh, where that goes. We'll be right back. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens with the um, 5.56. Five, Just play, ready? I'm ready. Okay. Oops, sorry, auto. <laughs> Ready? I'm ready. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not bad, huh? Not bad. In the back, still intact. Nothing is going on. The wood is getting all messed up here, but the, the mat, the mat, why do I keep calling it mat? The target, the rubber target, I keep thinking rubber, rubber being on the bottom for the uh, floor mats and stuff like that. The target, it's intact. Infinity targets. This is some awesome stuff. I'm probably gonna need more of these, to be honest with you, for the shooting range. These are awesome for practice. If you wanna train and stuff like that, you don't want, you, people are scared of ricochets. You put a bunch of these around, on like some sort of a uh, rope or something on the wood, you don't have to worry about nothing coming back. Right? Yeah. Let me spray one more time. I'm gonna hit it with the, um, I'm gonna hit it with 50 BMG, see how big of a hole it'll put here. Okay. <laughs> then we'll wrap it up, we'll see what happens. Just to show you guys how tough these uh, rubber targets are and how good they uh, self heal. I'm gonna shoot it on the left side, not gonna hit the wood because I'm gonna break my wood. And then we're gonna see the back of it and the front of it. So the, um, yeah, that's it. And I'm just using FMJ and I'm using a Serbu BFG 58. That's very ready? I'm ready. Watch this. Fire in the hole. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then we'll go one over here.
It looks like we didn't hit anything. A little bit of a spray right over here. I don't know if that was from the gunpowder probably, honestly. And then one right over there. And then the back of it, look how small that hole is. Wait, I, I, wait, wait, wait. Right there, I here. Was, wait, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very small. Very small. And that's a big round, 50 BMG. So it is 50 BMG proof if you need to put it a long distance. Shoot it with the pistols, um, as you can see with rifles. Doesn't matter what you hit it with. It withstands pretty good. And then just spray paint it. Where's my spray paint again? Oh, I lost awesome. it. Yeah. Just a little bit of a TLC. The target is back and they got this nice grooving inside. So uh, they're always gonna be there. That shadow gives you the, um, the dimensions, the target. So you can't overspray it and not see it. This is what I'm talking about here. No matter how much I spray it, it'll, it'll constantly show. Because it's got a, a cutout on the sides. Comprende? Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Infinity Targets, for sending these out. Uh, check them out. There will be a link in the description. Get yourself a couple of these. And also get the knowledge that you need from sdi.edu. Thanks again, both of these companies. We really appreciate it. And I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video. I don't know if it was boring, satisfying, or what, but uh, we had fun. That's it, right? Yes. Okay, if you did enjoy it and you learned something, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Let's go.